After 20 some years of faithful service as player two, Luigi finally gets the chance to steal the spotlight from his brother in a challenging but flawed expansion pack for New Super Mario Bros. U. New Super Luigi U is Nintendo's first downloadable add-on for New Super Mario Bros. U, and it basically adds an option to the start menu that allows you to switch over the world map to a whole new set of levels and puts you in control of Luigi. Though it uses the same world map and the same general level themes as New Super Mario Bros. U, New Super Luigi U adds new physics and a 99 second timer to each level that really focuses on rushing you through each level as quickly as possible. This is the hardest content that Nintendo has created for a Mario game since the NES days, but in a lot of ways it's missing the heart of what makes Mario games great. Luigi isn't just a palette swap for Mario this time around. Controlling him is actually a, a very big mechanical change. It feels completely different from New Super Mario Bros. U. He has a floatier jump and he hits a higher arc, but he kind of trades off the precise platforming that we're used to in Mario games for the ability to get through levels faster. I felt like it lost a lot of what was special about the original levels of New Super Mario Bros. U, like just getting to explore and find all of these cool hidden secrets. There are also just a lot less new ideas in New Super Luigi U. It's borrowing a lot of the same set pieces from New Super Mario Bros. U. The level layouts are technically totally different. They're much smaller and they're much faster to get through, but you're gonna see a lot of the same concepts from the original game repeated. New Super Luigi U feels more like I'm returning to a game that I've already mastered rather than actually discovering a new game. Getting through these levels on your own is difficult enough, but trying to drag along some friends is brutal, which really makes the multiplayer feel like it's unnecessary. Everybody is stuck using Wii remotes in multiplayer, except for a fifth player that you can put on the gamepad to make levels easier by creating blocks. You can also make the game a lot easier by playing as Nabbit, the thieving rabbit that was introduced in New Super Mario Bros. U. Nabbit is invincible to all enemies and a lot of the environmental obstacles so you can only die by falling in a pit or falling into a pool of lava. It's great that there are some options in New Super Luigi U for those who may not be as skilled but still want to see everything that the game has to offer, but I feel like they're kind of missing the point of what the game is about, which is getting through the levels as quickly as possible and showing off how good you are at Mario. I think more so than any Mario game of the past decade, New Super Luigi U is a game that's really for veterans. The level of challenge can get really frustrating from time to time, but as somebody who's played Mario games for my whole life, I actually really enjoyed that. Unfortunately, Nintendo uses that difficulty as a replacement for the real reason that I keep returning to Mario games, which is imaginative level design and clever gameplay. This was Luigi's chance to shine, but he's really still riding on his brother's coattails. Woo! <laughs>